Hey guys, oh my gosh, my hair, you can tell, has red in it. My hair is naturally brown with red highlights, so I'm a rat head. Nothing wrong with that, I love red hair. There's like no light in here, if I can get my lamp. Okay, now for a rant. This rant is TV turned girls gay. Mostly girls, because I'm a girl, but I'm going to say this. A lot of girls are stupid. Yeah. I'm not, because I ain't going to turn gay because TV said so or something like that. I'll get to the whole thing. TV turns people gay. The thing is about that. Okay. I saw a show that I was getting into and I can't believe it because it was on ABC Spark and most of the shows on there suck. And so I watched it for a while and then because a hot Power Ranger from Mystic Force, the Green Ranger Sander was on it. And he's like the hottest Power Ranger yet, so yeah. Um, I had to watch it because he was on it. And it's called Chasing Life. And then I watched it for a while and then the girl, one of the girls, the, the girl with cancer's sister was like emo or something and we all know most emos are gay because emos are just weird. I have nothing against gay people. I actually live with a gay couple, well, lesbians myself. So I have nothing against it. Um, they're away on holiday right now, though. Yeah. So. Their friend is here taking care of Ellen, the lady, the mentally challenged lady that also lives here. And uh, that li girl has bringing her daughter with her so she's two years old so if you hear any noise it's probably her um anyways back to the subject so she was like found that she there was this girl that she hated for the longest time her friends hated her and everything and then she hang out with her once and then they become friends and yeah she ended up really liking her and it's like yeah you really like her like a friend and her she had a boyfriend and her and her boyfriend weren't working out very well he was a really nice guy, he was really smart, but he was like a typical male, which was a pervert. But that's a typical male. You're gonna find them everywhere. So, don't give off, go give up guys just because they're perverted. Like, that's the world, people. And, how else are you gonna have babies to keep the world alive, the human race alive, if you're giving up guys because you don't want to have sex. Yeah, yeah, I know you're young, but one day you will have to, to keep the human race alive. Um, so she just because her boyfriend was a pervert, she decided to get with this girl. And at the moment, I had 
a girl crush that I was confused about on someone. And I know I'm not gay now. I figured that out. So, um, so I didn't want to watch it because those girls were like making out. I'm like, click, I'm never watching you again because it's just stupid. It's like teaching girls, give up guys for girls if they're being a pervert. No, you'll find a guy someday. They'll wait for you. They'll wait for you and they'll still be perverted. They'll still think about it, but they'll wait for you. So there's another show, Saving Hope, one of my favorite shows. But now I want to press click, as in the, click the off button, because there's more of this crap in it. Okay, um, first there was two old ladies that kissed. They were a little crazy though. I don't think they were gay. I think they were mental. Anyways. There's this one girl, my favorite character, Maggie, and I chose her to play me in Black Blood's my movie, if I ever turned my book into a movie. I can't even find my book. Can't find the next book, the chapter after that either, not chapter book after that. There's two books. And yeah. There's a one and then there's the prequel. So. Um, it's about real vampires. So I am gonna change her to be the other girl I chose to play me. To play me. Because no, I'm not gay, and I don't ever want to become gay. I like guys. I do. So, not happening. TV, you can't tell me so. I'm not a stupid teenager. So, um, I used to be a stupid teenager, though. But I never turned gay for anyone because I had a bad breakup. So this girl... She was married and no, she wasn't married. She was engaged and she was pregnant. She lost the baby and then her and her boyfriend broke up. She cried and cried and cried all the time. She said, no, it's my hormones, but it was, wasn't, it was because she loved the guy. So this girl that's her best friend admitted that she likes girls after there was a situation with one of the patients and yeah where was I? I got off track. Okay. There's a situation with one of the patients that the girl, Maggie's friend, said when they were 17 that the girl who was the patient was gay to her mother. So, um, yeah. And then Maggie... All of a sudden herself was like, oh, I'm gay too. I like you back. Just because you broke up with a guy doesn't mean you changed the girls. You are born gay. You can't turn gay. Don't do that because you're going to ruin your life. You are going to ruin your life. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I really like guys, but, but. 
I'm afraid I'll get my heart broken again. You'll get your heart broken by both. Girls can be perverts too. Girls can be idiots too. And I don't know if it was because of the miscarriage that she, her hormones all of a sudden turned her gay. And she's like, oh, uh, uh, it does, I, I'm just not feeling it anymore. I don't feel like I'm in love with you anymore. So they break, so she breaks up with him, but she really does have feelings for him. It's just her, her miscarriage made her all sad or whatever. I don't know because I've never had a miscarriage. I've never had a baby. I'm still a virgin. Actually, technically no, but technically, okay, I'm not going to get into my personal business. So, anyways, I am not, I am not going to go gay just because I broke up with a guy. Like, God, why, and then girls think that. I know girls that's done that before. They had a bad breakup and then they're like, no, I, I'd rather be gay. Like, you're born gay. You're not, change yourself to it. Like, come on, people. And TV is influencing that. TV is also influencing underage sex. There's 11-year-olds now doing it. And then there's one girl that got pregnant with a 14-year-old boy's baby. And you think 11-year-olds don't think about that? Well, they do now because the TV is sexualizing them. Oh, and the little two-year-old, um, she was like, I didn't know she was doing this on purpose. She probably wasn't, but when I, when I fixed it, she pretended that she wanted it that way. Her fairy doll underwear was showing. She's like, no, put it back. I want the underwear to be showing. She's already sexualized. And then kids play with themselves too. Why are children taught thinking about sex? And why are people turning gay by someone said that on TV or they have a bad breakup or their boyfriend's a pervert? And also, thing I watched was a transgendered child. No, no. You're a kid, you don't know about that stuff. You're either gay or your mother wants you to be a girl. So you change a girl. So, that's the end of my rant, I guess. That's all I really have to say. I have to pack clothes to go to my parents and get dressed eat and all that stuff. Bye.